and welcome back folks, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sin. I figured out what I was missing last time and I figured out that pressing F11 brings up the inventory, yes. In the 36th episode I finally figured out how to use the inventory. So, um, pressing left and right our sh shifts cycles to the items, pressing the up and down arrow repeatedly zooms into an object. Okay, this is just a generic green keycard, but this item is an evidence envelope and it's totally unreadable. I don't think this is the password that uh, the gay marines gave us, but it was probably here in this inventory and I finally figured out what this is. This is adrenaline. It makes you jump faster, uh, makes you jump higher and run faster. We will have occasion to use this item, but for now I want to solve three mysteries, or four maybe. So the last time I was wondering why I failed the secondary objective and it seemed that the reason why the secondary objective, namely to locate and destroy all the Syntec chemical drums, is unchecked is, is that it, there is a glitch in Syn. I think you have to shoot those barrels or those drums in a particular order because I played through this part again and shot the exact same barrels but in a different order and then it regi registered it as being completed and it, uh, so in any case that's not too important what is important is this here and this security cameras which show amongst myself and this very nice view of the dam this room where you see those strange turbines and one of those tough reconstructed dudes guarding the door. Yeah, so mystery number one. Where the hell is this room with, a, with those turbines? Mystery number two. And I will take a shot. Uh, and I lost a bit of health. That was stupid. Mystery number two is down here, and that mystery is... Where is the key for this double door? Hint, it might be the same double door as in this turbine room which we just saw, but only maybe. Okay. So this is mystery number two, and the last mystery... The last mystery which uh, was left unsolved in the last episode was to find out what that strange blinking item on this table is, which looks like a red keycard, and how to get there. I will show you how to get there. What you can't what you can't do is just jump down here as I've demonstrated in the last episode even though technically she should be able to fall down there by falling onto this uh, little edge here but if I do that Blade. Blade. I will get killed Talk to me, man. I will not get killed by the fall by falling damage I will get killed by something else namely by an invisible wall which um, just subtracts some hundred and 150 health points from myself and effectively kills me because you cannot legally acquire more than 140 I think health points in this game but there is a way to get to this um, key card there Namely, what, what I was, um, 
I tried to jump onto this ledge here and get onto this room, onto this roof one of the previous episodes, but that's not possible, I think. And what is possible is to use this door, jump onto this telescope, and... Okay, you have to be able to jump, and I'm currently unable to jump, but if you do that, you can jump onto the top of this building, and from here, you could... You can get down there. Before we do that, I want to show you a bit of the scenery, which you can explore. There's some glitch, graphical glitches. Yeah, and you can look through uh, this wall. That's interesting. You could... Um, I could not now jump down here to this little area we thought about there's no way out of there and there are also no secrets so I'm not going to but we can um, what we can do is we can we can jump onto this ledge okay now there's this huge gap which we obviously cannot um, we cannot um, get over, get past, but using adrenaline, we can. Okay. Yeah, and it's so overpowered that I need, that I don't even have to. Don't have to jump on this. On the roof, I can just jump, uh, jump down here immediately, and now I. It seems that I could, should be able to jump down there. Please, please, talk but, to me, man. But if I do that, I'm being killed by the invisible barrier. But we can, in fact, get down there. Let's use the. Adrenaline again Can in fact get please, please. We can in principle get there if I would be able to jump that is Okay, let's try this again Maybe I can even get there from here Blade is down. Uh, No, because I'm again. I'm being killed by the invisible barrier Okay, let's do this. Let's do this properly. By the way, this is where the, the the sniper at the beginning of the level was. Okay, so jump on this. Jump on this. Ah! Nope. Okay, now I'm stuck. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's a bit tricky to maneuver a few if you're using this adrenaline uh, kit because your the controls are super sensitive Wait. Uh, okay I will do this I will definitely get down here in this episode even if this episode will then take an hour but I will do this okay <clears throat> just small small steps Okay, for, forget small steps, just... <sighs> okay, now just fall down the... Uh, and you see, I didn't take any falling damage at all. So I didn't die due to falling damage, I did... I died due to something else. There's now an orange tea card that we got. And there's a room, which might be full of... Um, horrible monsters Which is in fact full of horrible enemies And I will kill most of them using my handy dandy rocket launcher And the remaining guy I will kill 
by shooting him in the face. Already got it. Okay, so you see that we can jump down here, get the key card. Already got. It. Nope, don't need it. Um. All right. But the question is, why should we go down here? The point is that we are not supposed to go down here. Yeah. Actually. We are not supposed to be here, actually. Because, um, yeah, this keycard is not for this door. Uh, or maybe it is for this door. No, it's not for this door. You see, this door, which needs a, needs a key, is precisely the door which we could got it which we sorry spawn key uh spawn key ring that's the command okay i forgot which command it is okay anyway this door if i could figure out what the sheet is for getting the keys um, this door is precisely the door. Maybe I can actually figure this out. Spawn keys. Nope. Yeah. Keys. Okay. I should now be able to. Nope. Don't need it. Okay. Do this. Um. Hmm. Spawn. Key ring. Okay, then I will just go into a no click mode. Because this door is simply this door which we could not open. So we actually we can't open this door in this level or in this version of this Already level. Got it. And we are also we are not supposed to go through this door. This is the door which needs the orange key card and which is guarded by I guess. This man! And which is also guarded... Which is also guarded... By this man... And this man... And this man! So what's the point in coming here? Is this some sort of secret? No, it is actually not. Because this, this turbines, which we can shut down, if I were to, were to press this, this uh, second button, this would take me straight to the oil rig level. So these, we totally skipped two levels. So we are not supposed to be here at this moment. What we are supposed, what you are supposed to do is when you skip. When you go on to the next level from this level, and if you fail the second level after this level, you are getting sent back to here with the key. Go through this door, this door, this hallway, shoot all the people in here. All right. Get the key card, the orange key card from there. Get back. Go through this door and shut off the turbines and do this in under four minutes. So yeah, this is the this is the explanation of mysteries number one, two, and three. So we can now safely leave this level, as there are no secrets. Anymore, and my time has just run up. So I think that we will exit this um, we will exit this level in the next video and then we will move on to um, yeah the next level so until next time folks until then